It's not home, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, mine might the same way. If I want to put a grip on, I'll put a grip on. against violence and domestic violence. Rest in peace. And they understand what every parent understands. That you just want your child to come home. And when I hugged his mother, she talked about she just stays up every time her son was on duty. This moment is so important. Violence won't divide us. Right. It right. will unite us. Yeah. Right. We are going to unite around this issue. And we know some would say 95% of the city is good. I say 99% of the good city is good. Let's weed out that 1%. Right. This is a fight, violence against New Yorkers. That's the battle we're in right now. We're in a battle with a small number of people 
that believe they will hold our city hostage with violence. Mm. That will not happen. Right. That will not happen. And we're not going to be intimidated by those who believe we should look down on the men and women who put on that bulletproof vest, stand on street corners, protecting children and families, as though they should be ashamed of the occupation that they are holding in this city. They are not ashamed. I wasn't ashamed to wear that uniform, and they're not going to be ashamed to wear that uniform. I have the facts of my police officers. And I want to be clear on that. I want to be clear on that. And we are unapologetically supportive. That's right. Unapologetically supportive. So the loudest is not the majority. And I'm saying to you, my cops, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, that is not our city. Nope. Our city is not Facebook. They're face-to-face -face people. Yeah. They're not Instagram. They want the instant results to protect their community. Right. They're not on Twitter. They're not on social media. They're on our streets looking for you. When they walk out of the train station and see you, they're happy to see you. Right. When they're taking the train and you're there, they're happy to see you happy. there. We need you. And you need us. Right. And we're not going to allow anyone to divide us. No. No. That is not happening. No. Absolutely. And I'm saying don't give up. Right. Don't become so frustrated and disenchanted to allow the violent people around us to do what they think they can do. No. Don't allow them to take and hijack the peace of our city. No matter what happens, we have to stay committed because that bullet could have taken innocent person, any innocent person's life. Right. Eleven month old baby. Yes. Oh, Eleven month. That's any of our child. And Ingrid is right. Twenty two year old baby was shot. This is unacceptable in this city. Absolutely. And I'm committed. Yes. And dedicated. To unite us around this issue. That's right. That's right. And we can have philosophical disagreements about mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you can't have a disagreement about a gun. That's right. That's right. An illegal gun is a line in the sand. That's right. That's right. And we need to send a clear and loud message. You carry a gun in our city, mm -hmm. there is no apology to you. You can't carry guns and use guns in our city. That message must be clear. We've made it too easy and too comfortable for people to carry guns in New York. Right. And we made it too easy for guns to come to our city. Right. We made it too easy for us to have a gun environment in this country and in the city. So we need help from the federal government. Mm -hmm. We're doing our job in NYPD, taking thousands of guns off the street. Every one they take off, we're having five come in. How do we stop this if the federal government does not stop the flow of guns in this city? And yes, we need community centers. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need to be proactive and give people the help they need not to feed the crisis. Yes, we have to deal with housing. Yes, we have to deal with homelessness. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to deal with employment. But I was poor, almost mm -hmm. homeless, mm -hmm. lack of education, and I never picked up a gun and Come took on. someone's That's life right. for it. So no, there's no excuse. None. We're not giving an excuse to anyone. It's no excuse to shoot an 11-month-old baby. No excuse to assassinate these officers. No excuse to have the shooting we saw in Staten Island responding to a dis domestic dispute. There's no excuse to be a gang banger and think you're going to wreak havoc in our city. No, no. it's not happening. No. No. It's not happening. No. And for four years, while I'm the mayor of this city, we're going to make sure this is a safe city yeah. to raise our children and families.
This prayer vigil is number one. We want to pray for the officer who lost his life. When